All right. To derive this implicitly, we're taking the second derivative. We're going to derive it implicitly, derive everything where it's at. So the derivative of 1 is nothing. So you could put 0 if you want, or ignore it. You could put minus, or you could bring that as a negative 1 through the whole thing. Right here, we have a quotient rule. So to derive this, the first derivative of x is just 1 Okay, times, what's the, leave the y plus leave the x and derive the y. Derivative of y is y prime. So xy is derived as follows. Derive the x, leave the y, leave the x, derive the y. Equals, derivative of x is simply 1. Derivative of y is simply y prime. Now you could also put instead of y prime dy dx for both of these. So that is the first piece. Now the goal is to get y prime by itself. So there's different ways of doing that. Um, let's first clean this up. So it looks like I have negative, sorry, what is that? Negative 1y or negative y minus xy prime equals 1 minus y prime. So we have that after we distribute the negative. Um, let's move the y primes this way. So when I move this over, I'll get uh, this adds over. So I have y prime minus xy prime equals, this is a 1. And if I add this over, I have plus y. So I add the y over, and I add this over this way. My next step would be to pull out the y prime, the GCF of y prime, leaving me with 1 minus x. When you pull out of these two a y prime, this is what you're left with. I'm going to change this to y plus 1. And from there, you've got to get y prime by itself, so let's minus the 1 minus x over. And I have, now have y prime equals y plus 1 over 1 minus x. That's my first derivative. Now we want to drive that again. So I see a quotient rule. Now we could go back up here and drive this if we wanted to, implicitly, or even this, but let's just do this one. So to drive this, we're going to have y second prime is equal to The bottom is simply going to be 1 minus x squared. Derive the top. When you derive the top here, you get y prime. Leave the bottom, the 1 minus x, minus leave the top, derive the bottom. And some of you might miss the negative. When you derive 1 minus x, it's negative 1. And then you just square the bottom. Called quotient rule. So we derive this, left this, left this, derive this, and then squared the bottom. Now we just got to simplify and plug some things in. So in the process, you're going to have y for the second derivative. I replace y prime. Don't we have to go and take this and actually stick it right there? So I now have y plus 1 over 1 minus x times 1 minus x minus, can I distribute the negative and the negative and make out a plus y plus 1 all over 1 minus x squared. So again, I replace the y prime right here. This I distribute the negative and the negative except a positive, so just leave that. Hopefully some of you see a nice little cancellation here. Yay. <laughs> that makes life a little bit easier. Otherwise, we'd have to get a common denominator. Don't have to now. So it looks like we got y double prime, or the second derivative, is equal to this plus itself. So what's y plus y? That's 2y. What's 1 plus 1? Plus 2 over 1 minus x all squared. That is a good answer. Probably that's decent. There is something you could also do. You could technically pull out a 2. And this would also be fairly decent if you wanted to. 
either of these would be good final answers. Um, it was kind of nice how these canceled, so we didn't have to get a common denominator. Um, but that would be your second derivative. This is your first derivative. Hopefully that works for you.